Uh, so good morning, students. So last time we uh, see in the lecture, which is the definition of uh, noise pollution. What are uh, what is uh, caused as a and what is the main definition of noise pollution, and uh, what are the measurements uh, which is used to capture the noise, which is the decibel. Decibel is the standard for the measurement of noise. and what are the limitations of sounds become a uh, physically painful this all the standards we uh, we are trying to study right there are some uh, decibel meters which, uh, which can used to measure the noise pollution there are the different types of sources of noise pollution which is household sources social events commercial and industrial activities transportations so household uh, sources generally includes the uh, uh, furniture grinders all things which is used in the house which create noise is uh, which is injurious to health is uh, household sources social events uh, in social events a uh, disposed parties other social events which creates a uh, lots of noise of, for the people living in that area right so uh, it generally called as nuisance rather than the noise pollution a uh, commercial and industrial activities which is uh, mainly uh, focusing on manufacturing industries construction sites printing uh, printing bases and we generally uh, could not stop the this types of manufacturing industries or construction site which is, because it is very useful to the living uh, living standard of the people so we can uh, reduce that noise which is produced by these industries or construction site right uh, with the help of using noise proof uh, gadgets or equipments and uh, uh, for the construction sites uh, or ear plugs to minimize their exposure to the heavy noise transportation is also a main sources of noise pollution and what are the different types of effects of uh, noise pollution so these all are the points which is indicates uh, the noise pollution Uh, if effects on noise pollution on human beings animals and property right so first one is a hearing impairment so hearing is essential for well being and the safety so hearing impairment is uh, typically defined as an increase in the threshold of hearing as clinically accessed by audiometry right so there is general agreement that exposure exposure to the sound level less than 70 decibel does not produce hearing damage regardless of the duration of the exposure so there is also general agreement that exposure uh, for more than 8 hours to sound level in excess of 85 decibels is potentially hazardous to place this in a con uh, context 85 decibel is roughly equivalent to the noise of heavy truck traffic on the busy road so because of uh, uh, the sound level of more than 70 decibel it it really producing hear hearing damage right and uh, regardless of this duration of exposure so hearing impairment is the most uh, effect uh, most uh, mostly harmful effect uh, due to noise pollution right so uh, therefore the who this who recommends that unprotected exposure to sound levels greater than 100 decibel for example the sound of jack hammers or snow mobile right should be limited in duration uh, let's say that 4 hours and frequency four times per year so uh, the head there so for the pain is usually given as 140 decibel a level uh, readily achieved in today's boom cars impulse noise exposure such as gunfires and similar sources of intense noise of brief duration should never exceed 140 decibel in adults and 120 decibel in the children so fire crackers uh, cap pistols and other toy can generate sufficient sound levels to cause sudden and permanent hearing loss so levels greater than 165 decibel even for the few milliseconds are likely to cause acute uh, acute accurate damage right so it is important to remember to counsel the patients that ears do not get used to loud noise so as the leak for the hard of hearing notes they get 
death so these all are the effect of uh, humans because of noise pollution uh, basically it's a hearing impairment okay right? second is it decreases the efficiency of men so regarding the impact of uh, noise on human efficiency there are number of experiments which print out the fact that human efficiency increases with noise reduction a study by sinha and sinha in india which is suggested that reducing industrial booth could improve the quality of their uh, work so the human efficiency is related with the noise and noise can adversely affect the performance and for example in the reading and attention is uh, problem solving and memory right so uh, because of it it increases the efficiency of a man right so according to the study uh, the industry would could improve right and uses alternative or uses uh, some kind of uh, technologies which can uh, avoided this uh, lots of uh, avoided or producing this loss of noise pollution around the environment right because it's uh, directly affects on the efficiency of man and because of the human uh, efficiency such as reading attention is or problem solving and memory power this all are defects due to this pollution so next is a lack of uh, concentration so better quality of work uh, there should be a concentration a noise causes lack of concentration so in big cities mostly all the offices are on the main road so noise of traffic or the loud speaker of uh, different types of horns divert the attention of the people which is working on the office so deficits in the concentration can lead to the accident okay so because uh, the prevention of uh, the noise pollution is necessary uh, because it's uh, there are main effect is the lack of concentration is occur during this pollution right so we should uh, okay so we should implant the sound proof doors or windows in the offices right so that we cannot hear any type of uh, noise uh, such like uh, such as uh, the office uh, such as the traffic traffic noise horn uh, horns right the accidents ambulance sound this all are creates the uh, noise pollution right so uh, avoiding that type of problem uh, we can concentrate easily in our office next is a fatigue because of noise pollution people cannot concentrate on their work so uh, so that they have to give their more time to completing the work and they feel tiring next is abortion so there should be a cool and calm atmosphere during the pregnancy so unpleasant sounds make the lady of uh, irritative nature and sudden no, uh, sudden and constantly no constant noise causes abortion in the female pupil dilation so noise uh, pollution causes dilation of pupils of the eye it also causes mental illness so noise pollution causes certain uh, diseases in human it attacks on the person peace of mind the noises are recognized as a major contributing factor in the accelerating the already existing tension of the modern living so this ten uh, tensions results in a certain disease like blood pressure or mental illness etc so noise pollution may cause or contribute to the following adverse effect which is uh, anxiety stress nervousness uh, nausea uh, headache emotion uh, emotional instability argumentativeness sexual impotence change in mood increase in social conflicts neurosis hysteria and uh, psychosis and it also causes the heart attack so noise pollution causes increase in the rate of heart beat which is increased the cholesterol level and the construction of blood vessel which leads to the blood pressure which resulted in the heart attack so noise can trigger both the endocrine and uh, autonomic nervous system responses that the effect of uh, cardiovascular system and thus may be the risk factor of cardiovascular high levels of the stress hormone such as 
कॉर्टिसल एड्रीनालाइन नोराड्रीनाइल कैन लीड टू हाइपर टेंशन स्ट्रोक हार्ट फेलियर एंड इम्यून प्रॉब्लम तो एक्यूट एक्सपोजर टू नॉइस एक्टिव एक्टिवेट्स द नर्मल नर्वस एंड द हॉर्मोनल रिस्पॉन्सेज विच इज लीडिंग टू द टेम्पररी इंक्रीज इन अ ब्लड प्रेशर हार्ट रेट एंड वेसो कंस्ट्रक्शन so there are also digestive problems so uh, it causes di uh, digestive spasms and stomach disorders and uh, it also causes temporary or permanent deafness which is the effect of noise on audition is well recognized so mechanic uh, locomotive drivers telephonic uh, operator etc all have their hearing impairment as a result of noise at the place of work so uh, psychiatrists physician and psychologists are the group that the continue exposure exposure to the noise levels about 80 to 100 decibel is unsafe uh, loud noises uh, causes the temporary or permanent deafness so there are also causes aggressive behavior so noise about 80 decibel may increase the aggressive behavior annoyance is defined as a feeling of displeasure associated with any agent or condition believed by an individual to adversely effect on him or her next is effect on vegetation poor quality of crops so now is well known to all that plants are similar to the human beings they are also uh, as sensitive as men so there should be a cool and peaceful environment for the better growth and noise pollution causes poor quality of crops in uh in pleasant atmosphere 